Hi, for today's lesson, we'll be discussing the concept of limits. Limits is a fundamental concept in calculus, and understanding it is important in doing well in your calculus class. This is the formal definition of a limit. This is read as the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l. This is another way to express this formula. This is read as f of x approaches l as x approaches a. So calculus and limits, it's all about finding the values of that your function approaches. However, when dealing with limits, there are rules to keep in mind. So the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l if and only if these conditions are satisfied. A minus means approaching a from the left side. A positive means approaching a from the right side. So the limit as x approaches a from the left side must equal the limit as x approaches a from the right side. So for our first example, we have two curves and a vertical asymptote called a. So the limit as x approaches a from the left. We start left and work our way right towards a. However, since a is a vertical asymptote, we do not get a finite number. Instead, we find that it goes towards negative infinity. The limit as x approaches a from the right, so we start at a, work from the right, go towards left to a, is also negative infinity, just like a minus. Therefore, we can conclude that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to negative infinity. For our second example, we have two curves. However, there is a discontinuity, a break in our function. So the limit as x approaches one from the right. We start at the right and work away left. The first value we reach is actually negative one. However, the limit as x approaches one from the left. We start left, work away to the right, is zero. So therefore, our limit does not exist. There is a break. Now, it can often become confusing when evaluating these limits because of these jumps. So we have to keep in mind of the value it first approaches from either direction. With also these gaps, we can immediately see that many functions limits do not exist. Now, for each of these graphs I made, these are all the units of one spaced out. I did not include all the numbers because I wanted my curves to be more easily seen. For our third example, we have f of x is equal to 1 over x squared. So, right away, we can assume that the limit equals infinity because we cannot divide by 0. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, we start from the right or work away here. However, we cannot approach division of 0 equal to zero. So one divided by zero is not equal to zero. We actually get an asymptote at zero because it can never be divided by zero. So the limit as x approaches zero from the right of f of x is equal to infinity. So now we need to evaluate the limit as x approaches zero from the left. We start the left and work our way right towards the value zero. We find that it too also approaches infinity. Therefore, we can conclude that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to infinity. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you in your calculus course.